All right, good morning, second grade students. So today for math, uh, in the lesson you learned about counting the total value of one, 10, and $100 bills up to $1,000. And so we're going to go through the Eureka worksheet today together as a class. So let's first start off by reading the directions so we know what we need to do. So the directions say, show each amount of money using 10 bills, $100, $10, and $1 bills. So what we want to do is we want to write each amount of money in expanded form, and we also need to write the total value of each set of bills as a number bond. So let's first start out with looking at number one here. And so our total is $136. So let's first look at our hundreds place. So we know this is our hundreds. And the number that we see is one. So in this first box, we're going to put $100. And then we're going to move on to our tens place. And we see we have three here. So remember, it's our tens place. So we're going to do $10. And then we're going to do another $10. And another $10 to have our 30. And then lastly, in our ones place, we have six. So now we're going to put in $1. $2, $3, $4, $5, and $6. So now that we have this filled in, we can now go back through and we can write the amount in expanded form. So again, we're going to start with our hundreds place. So remember we had 100 plus our tens place, we had three there, which was $30 plus our ones place, which was six. So we're going to have plus $6. And then the last thing they ask us to do is they want us to also write out a number bond. So with the number bond, we're going to draw a circle. This top circle is always going to be our total amount, which was $136. And then we're gonna break it up into our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. So again, we had our hundreds place was 100. Our tens was 30. And our ones place was six. So if we add these all up, we will end up with $136. So now let's move on to number two. So our total is $451. So again, let's start with our hundreds place, which we had four this time. So we're gonna do 100, 200, 300, and 400. Then we're gonna move on to our tens place, which we have five this time. So we're gonna do 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And in our ones place, we have one. All right, so now that we have our diagram filled in, we can now write in expanded form. So we're going to have Again, we had 400 in our hundreds plus 50 in our tens place plus one 
in our ones place. So now for our number bond, remember we always start with a big circle with our whole total, which was $451. And then we're going to have our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. So again, hundreds, we had 400. Tens, we had 50. And our ones, we had one. All right, so let's look at number three. So our total is 190. So in our hundreds, we have one. In our tens, we have nine. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. And we see we've run out of boxes, but in our ones place, we have nothing, so we know we are all set. So for number three, we can put 100 for our hundreds place, plus 90 for our tens place, and we don't have to put anything for our ones place. So again, our number bond, we're gonna put our total of $190 at the top. And this time we only need two circles since we don't have anything in our ones place. So we can put $100 from our hundreds and $90 from our tens place. So let's look at one more problem here. So our total is $109 this time. So again, our hundreds place, we have a one. How much do we have in our tens place? We have nothing. So we don't need to do anything with that. And our ones place, we have nine. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So for this one, we're going to do $100 for our hundreds place. We don't have to put anything for our tens because we don't have anything. And then we can do plus $9 for our ones place. And then we can move on to our number bond and we're going to have $109 for our total. And then we're gonna have 100 to represent our hundreds place and $9 to represent our ones place. All right, and that is our worksheet for the, our lesson today.